Well, let's put this in context, right? The market is to where it was like a week ago <laughs> in terms, you know, the S&P is still up over 14% for the year. Um, and even if you look at the unemployment number at 4.3%, that's still well below historical averages. Yeah, but um, it's the trend. Come on, it's the trend here. The trend is down for the stock market. The trend is down for interest rates. You know? Well, down for interest rates what we That's wanted, a, right? It, it, surely this is a slowing economy, and this is the market yeah. reaction. I, I would disagree with that, respectfully, of course. No, no, go Stuart. ahead. Go yeah. ahead. No, look, I mean, we just had our GDP growth come in at almost 3% for the quarter, which blew away expectations. That's looking backwards. Sure, but if you look at moving forward, if you look at the profit cycle, it's going to accelerate into next year. And when companies make more money, what do they do? They hire more people. So I think this is actually more of a rough patch. But again, we're only getting back to a normal job market. This is normalization. This is back to what a normal unemployment number looks like. This is back to what adding normal jobs does pre-pandemic. And I think that's basically what you're starting to see is a normalization of the economy. After we had a huge stimulus, you know, we had a huge... Uh, unemployment number and then people coming back in droves after the uh, recession. I'm sorry to No, 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 no. If you've got a case to make, you can make it. That's not yeah, a problem. Yeah. I happen to disagree with you because it looks to me like the economy is slowing down. And more than that, I think that's a huge problem for Kamala Harris in the election. How does she explain this? Well, I think her biggest issue is still going to come down to inflation's up over 20% over the last three years, and wages have barely kept pace with that. But, you know, I like Wayne Gretzky always said, you want to go skate where the puck is going to be. And I think bottom line is, at the end of the day, we still have earnings going up. We still have GDP growth that's probably going to be a positive again this next quarter. Um, and I would argue unemployment's probably going to stay still fairly low because we have a very, very tight labor market. You still have baby boomers retiring in droves. Put an, it, optimistic, I don't put an optimistic spin on it, by all means. Can I just uh, show me the big tech this morning, that pre-market uh, pre opening big tech? Have we got that board up? I, I'm sure we're seeing a oh, ton wow. of red. Um, well, Amazon is down 17 points, 9 percent. Sure. Apple is down four bucks. That's uh, one percent. Um, tell me, why? What's with big tech? The air seems to be coming out of. I'm not going to call it a bubble, yeah. but the air is coming out. Well, I did say on your show for weeks after weeks that it's probably overvalued here and due for a correction. And I think that's what you're getting right now. I mean, bottom line is expectations are so high for tech. But meanwhile, we've had this magnificent rotation into small caps. I mean, they're still up over 4 or 5% for the month. Um, we've seen money go into a lot of different asset classes.